Hey guys, you're looking at a very agitated weather storm lord right now because I just completely lost a pretty exciting round of footage. Nowhere near as exciting as what I've been getting lately. But we just got some pretty severe weather. So I'm just going to recap it for you guys now. So if you saw that severe thunderstorm watch I recorded from earlier from my HH54VP, which is now in my pocket, and WXJ57 on scanner radio. This was. I am in South Bend right now. The HH did go off. Right here. Oh yeah, that's right. It's off. But it did go off. Northwest wind around five. Yep, good speaker quality. I've got WXJ57 up. It's about 10 o'clock right now. It expires in less than 20 minutes. But... And it's and we're out of it right now, so that's it. But here's what happened. So cells were developing in Illinois. The National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center posted two severe thunderstorm watches, one up in Michigan and one down here in southwestern Michigan, northern Indiana, including some marine areas. At five oh three, this is when I was this is when I started recording. A special marine warning was issued by NWS Northern IWX aka National Weather Service Northern Indiana, but it was for 40 knot winds. It looked like it was dissipating, but it reformed. So here, so around, I believe it was 649, the National Weather Service issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Laporte and Berrien for 60 mile an hour winds. This was when I knew that it was making a beeline directly for our area. Then, I believe it was 717, 710 is when they expanded severe thunderstorm watch number 391, which was our watch to include Kosciuszko County, which is to my southeast at the moment, and basically where the storms are now, but basically they've dissipated now. I'm also watching something in Angola's County Warning Area. Then at 717, we got placed northeastern St. Joseph County. I'm in northwest St. Joe County, but northeastern St. Joseph County got put under severe thunderstorm warning as well as northwestern Elkhart. Cass County, all of Cass County pretty much, and a portion of Berrien County were warned. And I must point out that New Buffalo and St. Joseph were both slammed. And at 7.23, we got placed under a severe thunderstorm warning, western St. Joseph County. I actually thought it was a tornado warning for a second because um, the warning had been issued so recently, so I legit thought it was a tornado warning. I thought I, heard, I, thought I was going to hear sirens, but I didn't, luckily. Then, I believe around 7.48, the National Weather Service issued a severe thunderstorm warning. It was raining like hell and thundering very hard here. And the wind, I swear, got to a decent 30, 40 miles an hour, possibly. Then the winds, and then the new severe thunderstorm warning was issued for all of Elkhart County, southeastern St. Joseph County. Um, Marshall County and LaPorte County, but get this, they toned it twice. They literally pulled a KJY-85 and pulled it twice. And toned it twice, excuse me. So I was thrown off guard there. And that's all the warnings, but basically what I would say is we got probably about half an inch less or less of rain. Well, it was pretty heavy rain. It wasn't a very sufficient, it was very fast moving, so it was by pretty quickly. But this radio activated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, I believe. And had I not been stupid and made a mistake, then I probably would have been posting this event on YouTube about now. But I'm not able to because of a glitch that my phone likes to do. So I think something's wrong with it. Screen recording, so I have to be careful of that in the future. And that's pretty much it. My next video I'll just be playing by ear, so... Yeah. I'm really playing it by ear. It's either going to be another Super Weather event or a weather recreation, so... That's it for this recap. It was a very small event. And apparently there were a couple tornadoes confirmed in places that I can't get. But that's it for this recap, and I will see you guys in some sort of content within the next few days.